Okay, good morning everybody. This morning we are going to do a read on a missing firefighter. His name is Michael Chambers and he is missing from Hunt County, Texas. He's been missing since 2017. Now I haven't read a lot on this case because I just don't like doing that so it doesn't affect the read. So we're going to get into this and see if we can't get some answers on what happened to him and possibly where he could be. Whatever it is that's going to come out is going to come out. Okay, so I ask if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe bar. Please hit the notification bell so you're made aware when I upload new content and when I go live. And also, if you like this video, please hit that like button also. And we are going to get into this. Okay, so also for all the people that were in my live on Sunday that were asking for the zip up hoodies, I believe that they will be available in a couple of days. Okay, so I've contacted my supplier and they are working on that for me. So um, I'll make a post in a couple days to let you guys know when the zip up hoodies are available. Okay. So again, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. I'm just shuffling up these cards so they're not, I'm not taking any that fly out right now. I'm just get, giving them a good shuffle before we start. See what we can find out regarding Michael Chambers. Okay, so now we are going to start. Okay, I asked my ancestors to connect with Michael Chambers, a guardian angels. There are guides to help us with the situation regarding what happened to him. So my ancestors to please connect with Michael Chambers. Let us know what happened to him. Okay, so there's something there. So the situation regarding Michael Chambers. Oh, geez, there's already cards flying out like crazy. So if you guys haven't seen any of my previous reads, any cards that fly out of the deck when I'm shuffling, I believe, are direct messages from Michael that he wants to include in the read that he does not believe is going to come out in the read itself. <laughs> or it could be just a lot of things he wants to say to clarify things in the read that he doesn't think are going to come out in the read. Let's start with the situation regarding Michael Chambers. Okay. okay. So this is the situation. We're going to keep these cards aside. We're going to put them up over here. And those will be read at the end of the read, you guys. And that will apply to the read, the whole read, okay? So, this is the situation. So, what I've got in the main part of the situation is something about secrets. What we got to look into deeper, I see something about roads. And in the secret position, I see a trickster, okay? So, there's something going on with secrets being held. There's something going on with some kind of traveling and there's something going on with somebody who's playing games that's that's done things behind the scenes that either cannot be proven or are not known or have not come to light yet okay okay so now we're going to go in for the messages regarding michael chambers and don't forget we go in for clarification on all these cards Okay, so this will all come together and it's going to tell us what happened. Okay. Okay, 
Let's remove these right there. So I've got this space here to work in. Okay, so that's the answer search for the messages regarding Michael Chambers, a missing firefighter from 2017. Ancestors for the messages regarding Michael Chambers, missing a firefighter. So, here we go. So this is the head. This is connected to the entire read. I'm going to move this down a bit so you guys can see all these. Okay? So this here is the main part of the situation, okay? So this tells us what happened. Okay? All of this here is just clarification on the main part of the situation. Okay? This is what we got to look into deeper. And this is in the secret position, okay? So either has not been found out yet, has not come to light yet, has not been verified as true yet, things that could be, people could be hiding, lying about, whatever. It's, it's just not come to light yet or has not been proven yet, okay? So we're going to start with the head and I've got searching. So I believe that he is still being searched for. Okay, and I've got distance. Okay, so this tells me either he was putting somebody at a distance or he was taken a distance. Okay, and I've got something about envy and something about secrets. Okay, so like I said, we're going to go for clarification on all these cards and it's going to bring the whole read together and things were, are going to start making a little bit more sense. Okay, so what we got to look into deeper, again, this is the head, okay, it connects this way, it connects this way, and it connects this way. So this is going to apply to the main part, what we got to look into deeper, and to the secrets. Again, the searching. I got light, okay, this is in the ending position, okay, and light means, like, truth, no lies, like, enough, in plain sight, so I don't know if something or someone is, is in plain sight, That's, but he's talking about truth and lies, okay? I've also got the roads, okay? So this is what we, we got to look into deeper, okay? I've got the roads now in distance, so I believe that he was taken. He was taken a distance, okay? So this isn't putting somebody at a distance, this is... Because I've got the Rhodes card here, like I said, this is all going to connect. This is the main part. This is what happened and why. And this is going to clarify and give us clues as to why this happened. Okay, so when I get the distance and I get the Rhodes with what we got to look into deeper, this tells me that he was taken. It talks about traveling. He was taken a distance. Okay. So in the part of the read that is in the secret position, again, we have the searching. Now, when this card comes out in, in the very first cards of the read, it's very telling, okay? This is a physical goodbye, okay? This is a goodbye to the physical world. So I do not believe that he is still alive, okay? He is telling us that he has said goodbye to the physical world, okay? I've got somebody talking about obsessed okay so obsessed faulty decisions of uh, obsessed with something or someone somebody was obsessed okay and like i said we're going to get into this and get some clarification on this okay and i've got this trickster so i'm seeing that this trickster 
right now as it stands, had something to do with him leaving this physical world, okay? And it's something to do with an obsession, okay? Either obsessed with him or obsessed with things, okay? Obsessed with something. But I also see that he's left the physical world and he's been taken a distance, okay? But in the end, we have truth, no lies. So this is, this is very telling. I've also got that somebody was envious and they're holding secrets. Okay, so we're going to go in for clarification on the, the situation, which is these three cards, okay? So I'm asking the ancestors for clarification into the situation regarding Michael Chambers, a missing firefighter. Ancestors for clarification into the situation regarding Michael Chambers. Oh, that's me, you guys. So these are not going to count the two that flew out. Because that was my doing. That was not him flying things out of the deck. start at the head okay I've got searching and I've got the cardinal okay so everybody knows that the cardinal is a spirit bird it's a messenger it's a it acts as a messenger from spirit okay and it brings warnings and messages regarding relationships um, things that you've got to watch out for okay spirit bird is here to protect you so I believe that with the spirit bird coming out in the head, I believe this has something to do regarding a relationship that he had with somebody. So this was personal. This wasn't just um, wrong place, wrong time type thing. Okay. This person was known to him. Spirit bird also tells me that there it comes to warn you about something bad going to happen. So I think um, with this searching, I think somebody, I think he was warned about somebody. I think he was warned about somebody. Okay, and I get this distance and I get thank you. So I get somebody thanking Thanking somebody for taking him a distance. Or this could be him saying thank you that they took him because he didn't want his family to find him that way. But I see that he is thanking something about this distance. And that's, I mean, <clears throat> for this to come out in the main part of the situation, I'm thinking that whatever happened to him, because I got him losing the, leaving the physical world, I got it has something to do with somebody who was obsessed with, with something or someone, which could have been him, and this trickster, okay? This trickster had something to do with this. And I think he's thankful that he was taken a distance so his family didn't find him. Now, I don't know if he's been found or not, but I don't think so because I still get the searching. But I'm getting that he's thankful that his family didn't find him the way that his physical body, the shape that his physical body was in. So like, I know he was a firefighter. So I'm thinking that there was something pretty bad that was done to him. And he's thankful that his family didn't have to see that. So that's why 
I think I'm getting to thank, thank you with this distance, okay? I got the envy and I got the perpetrator, okay? So the perpetrator is telling me, this tells me that the perpetrator was envious of something, okay? And I've got the cardinal that also come out in the lay with the perpetrator. So I believe that he was being warned that he got some kind of warning or was told about this, this perpetrator. Okay, so I think this perpetrator is also this trickster. So whoever this was, was envious of something. Okay, see how we got the obsessed? So I believe it's something that Michael had. Because this trickster was obsessed with something to do with Michael. So I believe that this perpetrator was envious and obsessed with something that Michael had, okay? And there's a lot of secrets around this, okay? So not only this perpetrator, this trickster, there's somebody holding secrets regarding this. Let's go over here. Let's see the rest of it before we... Okay, so what we got to look into deeper. See this? The searching and the cardinal came to warn him. I believe the cardinal came to warn him about this perpetrator, who is also this trickster. Or this trickster is the one that's holding secrets. So this could be two different people. So if I read it this way, this trickster is holding on to secrets. And I see traveling. Mm. I'm getting it. It's getting confusing because there's two people. I'm seeing two people. This perpetrator and this trickster are not the same. This perpetrator that, that's holding the secrets that I think Michael was told about or warned about is the one that took him took him took him the distance took him away so he's he's not where he should have been he's he's been taken from there by this perpetrator this perpetrator was envious of him over something the secrets are that this perpetrator and this trickster i believe yep yeah, they're two different people so there's also this trickster that is also hiding secrets and also traveling the road. So I believe this trickster it also was involved in the moving of him. They're both involved. I thought at the beginning this trickster was just knowledge of it. But no, this trickster was very much involved too. Because this trickster helped with the traveling. Okay, the traveling is connected to being taken a distance. So I believe that this, the perpetrator and this trickster were involved with, with taking him, with the traveling of him. And I see there he was taken a distance, okay? So we got the cardinal and everything again. I've explained what that means, okay? So with the light and the sun together, this is very telling, okay? So you know that the light means like truth, no lies, okay? The sun also means new beginnings. It's with the cardinal. He wants the truth to come out because there's been a bunch of lies. There's lies and secrets, okay? Whoever did this to him wanted a new beginning. That's why this is done. This person... A 
I believe it's this trickster. Wanted the new beginning. And this, this trickster isn't telling the truth, okay? They're, they're spewing lies. They're keeping secrets. And the same as this perpetrator. So there's, there's two people involved. I thought these two were connected at one time. But they were, they are not. They, they are connected, but they are two different people. I thought they were the same person. They're two different people, because this perpetrator is was envious of something, and this trickster was obsessed. Okay, but this all has to do with Michael. But they both were involved with the traveling because I have it this way. And then I have it in the main part with he was taken a distance. And the perpetrator and that and the trickster worked together to, to travel with him. So this trickster had help from the perpetrator. The perpetrator is the one that actually killed him. But the trickster was there. The trickster is somebody who's who does things for their own benefit and their own benefit only. Uses people, stuff like that. And in a way, I believe that this trickster used this perpetrator too. Okay, so let's go in for clarification on the situation. for clarification on the situation. Okay. So with the secrets, I got something about unconditional love for you. So whoever this perpetrator was, mm, there's unconditional love with this perpetrator and this trickster. And this is weird for it to come out in the position that it has with the trickster and the perpetrator. This is almost like a love triangle here. When I get the unconditional love, that means it's somebody that he either had unconditional love for him or he had had unconditional love for. And it's with the secrets and it's in the main position. Okay, but we're reading it this way. I've got somebody that was hiding behind a mask. And I've got this trickster stealing. So this trickster, I believe this is somebody he had had unconditional love for. But this, this, this trickster was hiding behind a mask and had a lot of secrets was also stealing from him. But this connects with this. I see almost like a love triangle here. Because I got unconditional love with the perpetrator and this way with the trickster. Unless this was two people that he had unconditional love for that did this because there's two, there's two involved. So if this is not some kind of love triangle, then this is two people that he had unconditional love for. And if it's not two family members, then this perpetrator had unconditional love for this trickster. And that's why they helped with this. Okay, because I see them hiding, I, I see the trickster hiding behind a mask. So it's not who they should be. They're, they're one, one way in public and another way behind closed doors, okay? And I also got that this trickster that he had unconditional love for that's holding secrets also helped move him. I see him, them being taken. Lying and hiding behind a mask. Okay, so they're not being truthful. 
That's why this has come out. And I believe that this person wanted a new beginning. Possibly with this perpetrator. I got that something was also stolen. Okay, so this is in the, the part of the situation that's still remaining secret. Or has not been brought to light. But see, he was also warned that this person was not who they pretended to be. This trickster. Okay. I also got that this trickster was stealing from him. Okay. Also over here. I got with with him leaving the physical world that justice will be served. Okay. Some kind of justice is coming. Okay. See, with the obsessed. Okay. With the obsessed, faulty decisions. It, it, obsessed with something or someone. I've also got the dark, which means... Covered up and hidden from people. And I got the stealing. So this trickster has gone to great lengths, I would say, to try and cover this up. Hmm. But this trickster wanted a new beginning. So I believe this is somebody that he was very close to. I'm seeing, oh, and this is just in my opinion, <clears throat> because of the way the cards have fallen, there was a perpetrator that was envious of Michael for whatever reason, okay? With that being said, this is the main part of the situation. I get that this perpetrator is the one who took his life. But when you put the main part of the situation and the situation itself together, I have a triangle here. Okay? So see if you move this over here. I have a triangle here. I have a triangle here. This tells me it's connected. The Cardinal came to warn him that this person, okay, because this is part of the situation and what we've got to look into deeper, this trickster was hiding behind a mask, was one way in public, one way behind, you know, in closed doors. This trickster also helped with the traveling, with the moving of him, okay? You see how this connects? This perpetrator took him the distance, took him away. So that tells me the perpetrator and the trickster work together in this. So I believe that Michael had unconditional love with this person that hides behind a mask, that helped move him, who is a trickster, and stole from him, somehow stole from him. So I don't know if they were married or just boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, but I believe he had unconditional love for this person and he found out about secrets. And why this is connecting this way is I, I think that this was like a triangle. This was like something to do with the trickster and the perpetrator. Had something going on, okay? And they were trying to keep it secret. But I believe that Michael found out about it because I got truth, no lies here. I got the perpetrator moving Michael a distance, and I've got the trickster going, traveling a distance, okay? That's hiding behind a mask. That's covering things up. It's keeping things hidden. The secrets with the perpetrator, keeping everything. This trickster, like everybody knows what a trickster is. This trickster is really messing this investigation up because... The trickster's hiding a lot, not only hiding behind a mask, but keeping things hidden and the secrets. But I believe that Michael found out about this. So something happened, something happened here. And but this is telling me this is why he went missing. This is why I believe he was killed. Okay, because I got the goodbye to the physical world. But I see justice coming. I see... I see these, the perpetrator and the trickster being caught. They're going to mess up somewhere. Somewhere, somehow, something is going to come to light. 
Something is going, in the end, something is going to come to light. And whatever this is that's going to come to light, because the light talks about truth, no lies. This has been in plain sight all along, but people have missed it. It's something, it's a clue, or it's something that's going to be brought to light, and it's been in plain sight the whole time. But I don't know why it's being covered up. But there's some, there's evidence somewhere and it's in plain sight. So it's not hidden. It hasn't been disposed of. Like it's not, you know, like when somebody uses a gun or something, they throw it into, into the water and it, you know, or take it all apart or burn it or whatever. It hasn't been destroyed, but it's being covered up. It's being kept away. But there's, there's something there that's going to give you guys the answers that you need. But it's being covered up. Okay, so let's go to the cards that flew out. Okay. So we got this about a loved one. So we already knew that this was somebody involved that he had unconditional love for saying it's a loved one that's involved, okay? I believe it's his trickster. Also that trust was broken, okay? So there's something about trust being broken within this relationship, and I believe it's this. I think that the trickster was doing things they shouldn't have and messing around maybe on him, but I feel like he he had been made aware of it. I see this, I get suicide. Suicide can tell me about a physical suicide, or this can tell me something about mental health. This is talking more, I don't believe he committed suicide. So if that's an issue, I don't believe that happened. Even though the suicide card came out, it's coming out on the right, it's talking about the trickster. I don't know if maybe the trickster is trying to say it's suicide or tried to make his death look like it's a suicide. So when he's found, I don't believe he's found yet because I, I get the still searching. They're trying to make it look like he committed suicide, but that is a lie. Okay, remember what I said about hiding behind this mask? The trickster doing things to trick people, keeping things hidden. So I believe this trickster, I'm not seeing suicide. I'm not feeling it when I usually, if, I, if this was a suicide, when I get this, I get full body chills. I'm not getting that, okay? But I believe this trickster, don't forget, this trickster is playing all kinds of tricks. Not only keeping things hidden, covering things up, keeping secrets. I believe having some kind of affair with this perpetrator, they're trying to make it look like he committed suicide. So I don't know if that's for some kind of insurance policy or something that's going on that this person wants because I see this person obsessed with not only with themselves, but with what they can get. And I don't believe that that's just with Michael. This is with everybody that comes across this person. See, and I get the stealing. So this trickster has done this for monetary gain too. But they're trying to make it look like a suicide. It was not. He was taken. I would not have got the justice card if he had committed suicide because there would be no justice to come. But I've got the justice with him leaving the physical world, which tells me justice is going to come for whoever responsible for this death. Okay? So that is what I've got from this, you guys. Um... 
I hope there's something in here that can help. I am going to go. I was sent some links too regarding this gentleman, which I'm going to go. I need, I'm going to need a picture of him for the thumb anyway. So I'm going to go and read up a bit about on this and see if this will make more sense to me. But from what I'm seeing right now is I don't believe he's been found yet because I still got the searching, okay? But from what I am seeing, I see a love triangle. No matter how you put it, I'm seeing a love triangle going on here. I've got this trickster that's hiding behind the mask. This trickster had a lot to do with him going missing and being taken away. I see traveling. This is somebody that Michael had had unconditional love for, okay? And then I got the loved one. So that is telling me that I was on the right track here. And these are the cards that he flew out of the deck. So these are things that he wanted us to know. And I believe that the trickster is trying to say that he committed suicide. But if he, if that was the case, then they would have found his body by now. You know what I mean? Like when people commit suicide, they want their body found. 99% of the time, some don't. But I'm not seeing his body being hidden in something, under something. But I see that he has been taken a distance. This person wearing the mask is this trickster. Broke his trust, is a loved one that he had unconditional love for that's hiding secrets, keeping things covered up. But justice is coming for his death. So this also tells me that this is not suicide. And this person that's behind the mask, which I believe is this trickster, broke his trust. And he's telling me it's a loved one. Okay, so this is the person that actually did, I think, did the actual killing of him, but this trickster helped. There was two involved in this, and he's saying, no, like, I'm getting it now intuitively. No, I, he did not commit suicide. So they need to look at this, this person here. They're hiding behind a mask, and I get, I'm getting, like, little things that are popping in my head. And that's my intuitive part. And I'm getting like, I don't get him personally telling me, but I've got my ancestors, one of my ancestors coming through going, she's good. So to me, that's like, she's, she's good at, she's almost like a professional liar. And she's good at covering things up, covering things up and keeping things dark in the, hidden but it's not suicide I've, I've got that too it's not no and this just clarifies it for me with the justice for his death okay because the, the the goodbye is a physical a goodbye to the physical world and that came out right at the beginning <clears throat> so this is what i got in the read you guys i'm gonna go and read up on this now See what I can put together. It, whatever I do find out will be put in the description below the video. It's sad. It's sad what I'm seeing, but this is what I'm getting. So again, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and please hit that thumbs up if you like this video. Okay? Thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.